Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your February 2018 uh, monthly general reading. Thank you for taking time out to listen to the reading. Happy birthday to my February Aquarius. Let's get started. We'll save the announcements uh, for the end. Okay, so um, all right, let's start with single Aquarius. Page of Cups. Death card. Knight of Swords. Wow. These cards want to talk. Ace of Wands. Queen of Pentacle. Three of Wands. Four of Cups. Six of Pentacle. Nine of Wands. All right, so single Aquarius, it looks like there is someone around you offering something. They could be offering, you know, messages of love. Um, they're trying to get something started with you. Um, you're going through your own transformation. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio directly. Um, maybe you're offering the Scorpio love. If not, someone is trying to get something off the ground could be a cancer pisces scorpio it doesn't have to be but th these are messages of love this isn't the offering but this if this is like you know telling someone you like them i uh, i want to get to know you but it looks like you're you're focused on your own transformation money making work your business I'm here for some of you kind of getting in your own way because this person may be very well, um, you know, they're for you. They're, they're um, wanting to put in that time with you. The Ace of Wands is here. It could be a passionate new start in creativity, arts, the esoteric, higher knowledge, just things of... Um, the arts, whatever. Uh, that's what uh, House of Oshun says. <laughs> I like her. Um, yeah, this is definitely a new passionate start. And, and, and it can literally be in uh, the creative field. Or there is now the opportunity and the drive behind business for you to put this this opportunity in this drive in your business because some of you are waiting for um, your quote unquote ships to come in you're waiting for the harvest you're waiting for um, that four of wands that firm foundation you've done a lot to get here you've created with the three here three of wands but also once again you're not taking to an emotional gesture here with the four of cups either someone's not taken to your emotional interest or vice versa it may be due to some inequality some lack someone giving more than the other or you you feeling like the relationship will be you know it won't be equal for whatever reason so you're evaluating it from afar. And also you've been through a lot. You know, you, you're you not a spring chicken here. You So you're, you're pretty much evaluating um, a love situation. Definitely focused on manifestation, money. Mo manifesting your money, your career, finance here. Definitely. Having that drive, that push to... To better yourself financially. Okay, so let's do a spread for my couple Aquarius. I'm gonna use another deck. Right, what are the messages for my couple Aquarius? True, accurate messages for my couple Aquarius. 
messages from my couple Aquarius. Messages from my coupled Aquarius, okay? The High Priestess, the Ten of Swords. Your intuition has been telling you something. It's leading you to a place of now, you know, the betrayal, the hurt, the pain can subside. It's a Ten. It's the Ten of Swords. It's over. You, you have been going through this for a while with the Ten of Swords. This isn't just something sprung on you. You knew about it. You felt it. Now, someone is at the full, the full stage where they're having to be, to begin over. They're having to start over. Yeah, King of Swords. You're either starting over with another air sign or you're starting over yourself, Aquarius. Right, and be, becoming single with the Nine of Pentacles. Or at least focused on singlehood. The Nine of Wands, yeah. Uh, because you've been through a lot. In a certain situation where there was betrayal, heartbreak, heartache. There's a little bit of inner conflict about this new found singlehood with you. It looks like you're just going to really put your, your nose to the grindstone and just really work. If, if work is what you do. Focus on your craft. Focus on bettering yourself. You might rush in and give truth in a situation, in a certain situation. You, you're definitely confrontational here. It might be with someone that you, you have been with for a very long time. Someone that you have children with. Someone who you thought was your soulmate. Or could it, it could still be your soulmate, but there could be a, a, a breakup, a breakup. An ending here. Um, six of Cups and then it jumps to the Eight of Cups. You, you have nostalgic thoughts, but you know that you must emotionally check out. Three of Pentacles. It might be due to the fact that there were three people involved in this situation. Or, you know, someone's not willing to work on it. Four of Pentacles. Wow. Not willing to put the work in, but still holding on with the Four of Pentacles. A lot of times this is holding on to status. Some people may be married. You don't want to lose that marital status for whatever reason. Social reasons, financial reasons, whatever. So some of you may be holding on. Yeah, Queen of Swords. King and Queen. This is definitely a long-term relationship or marriage. Then we have the lovers. Typically, a lot of times for me, this is Gemini. Gemini card. And then Queen of Swords is always Gemini. Um, Nine of Swords. Three of Swords. Yeah, this may be third-party situation. This is divorce and separation. Caution and relationship. And maybe that's why you're at the Nine of Swords, Aquarius. Because... You know that someone needs to make a decision um, of um, who they want to be with because it looks like it's third party here. Yeah. How does this turn out? How does this turn out? Four of cups, three of cups. Very progressive and that in like digressing energy is like four of cups, three of cups. You know, six of cups, eight of cups. It's just back to back. You know, it's almost as if you're on a seesaw or something. I had to sneeze, guys. I'm back. <laughs> Four of cups. Yeah, someone's not taking to an offer of reconciliation. Once again, it might be because it's third party. So that's the outcome. Someone's not taking to the offer of reconciliation. Someone is um, definitely open to or has already started the new journey of singlehood. Or at least they are very much thinking about it. If not have already started. But it looks like someone is coming back around or has come back around. Right. It looks like you're going to lay the burden down. That, that is that person or persons. 
Ten of Wands. Alright, so that's my coupled Aquarius. Let's see if we can get some general energy for Aquarius. Like, you know, some people just want to know about money or finance. Let's see if we can get some general energy. Thank you for the general energies for Aquarius. True, accurate messages for Aquarius. General energies for Aquarius. Messages of love, light, finance, career, family. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Aquarius. Nothing's going to, okay. I was going to put it back, so I'm going to say go with it. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Three of Swords. Seven of Swords, Six of Cups. Ace of Wands. Okay. And we have one fall. Let's get that. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Got a lot of people here. Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. First off, just by looking at it, I feel like there's an Aquarius out there because you didn't show up as a court card and you're in this sector. There's an Aquarius out there contemplating divorce, separation. Uh, with this, the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords because your energy showed up as Swords. Um, but you're trying to devise a plan of action of how to do this because you may have been with this person. could be a Cancer because the Queen of Cups is here, but it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You've been with this person for a very long time. The relationship involves children, family, but you want your passionate new start with this queen, king or queen of wands here. You want passion reignited here. But you're also focused on business and money. So I thought I was going to get something different. Six of Wands, right. You want victory in business and money and finance and career. You know, don't we all? The Magician and the Strength, wow. Nice. So for the career finance sector, it looks really, really good. Aquarius, there'll be recognition. You're going to be recognized for a good job. Um, public recognition. Um, you're popular with the public if you work with the, the public you're able to manifest whatever it is you're trying to manifest just have the strength to hold in hold on and hold in there you know it's like it won't happen overnight but know that it's happening because you're actively making it happen Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's it's going fast for some of you. Eight of Wands. Lots of communication. Lots of electronic communication. Lots of movement here. Ten of Cups. Wow, and it brings you to an ultimate level of happiness. And the High Priestess. It's almost as if you knew it was going to work. You, you, you know, with the High Priestess. Nice. Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Nice. Just working. Pretty much putting that work in. Um, waiting. You've you've laid the foundation. You've done the work. You're waiting now. Waiting for harvest. 
Three of Pentacles recognition in your work, working with maybe two other individuals, um, partnership. Yeah, nice. Your partners may recognize you, you and your value, or at work they may recognize you and, and your value. All right, that looks good, Aquarius. Okay, I think we covered all bases. Let's get us a butterfly oracle card. Help push us forward. Looks good. It wasn't bad. You know, um, I've been looking at a few Aquarius readings. I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. Let's go. What should my single Aquarius be? Concerned with for the month of February going into March. A single Aquarius be concerned with going into February, going into March. Keep the faith. Nice. So, single Aquarius, keep the faith in whatever it is you're trying to manifest in a relationship, in a business, in, a, in your career, work. If you're trying to manifest change, keep the faith. All right. Single Aquarius. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for my coupled Aquarius. What should my coupled Aquarius be concerned with from now going into March 2018? Gracefully aging. All right, this talks about really checking yourself. You know, are you gracefully aging? Have you taken time for yourself? Uh, different beauty regimens, uh, makeovers. Don't get too stuck in, you know, just oneness. And, you know, don't get too complacent in your look. You know. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the overall message for all Aquarius. What should all Aquarius be concerned with? What should Aquarius be concerned with for February 2018 going into March 2018? Dietary change. Wow. All right. This talks about vegetarianism, veganism, uh, pescatarianism, is that, if that's a word. Um, really evaluating your life, your lifestyle, and seeing what works for you and what doesn't. Too much of any one thing is not good for you and that's any one thing so there has to be balance you know temperance balance uh, healthy days should outweigh the bad days the cheat days just a little tidbit i am like no health you know nutritionist or whatever anyhow if these messages resonated with you, please click, click, click that like button. Like, like, like. Um, comment, comment, definitely comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Request a personal reading. I have the $25, 25-minute readings going now. Email me. Follow me on Instago. Uh, the link is below. Follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. What else is there to do? That's it. Yeah, you know, um, it's pretty good reading, Aquarius. Um, remember, Aquarius, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. I hope to see, well, at least to know that each and every Aquarius is out there. They're going to tune in um, March 2018. All right? Take care, guys.